Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X. So, I'm going camping this weekend. It's going to be me, my brother-in-law Dave, uh, our buddy Jerry, and Jerry's son Nathaniel. We're going for a weekend camping trip. And uh, we're going to Round Valley Reservoir here in New Jersey. Apparently it's the only state park in New Jersey that allows wilderness camping like you have to actually hike in to your campsite or you're gonna have to boat in you could boat in as well we're choosing to hike in so we're hiking in about four four and a half miles or so something like that and uh i'm gonna try and get that the the whole trip recorded for you i mean i'm obviously gonna edit it I'm not gonna show you the whole trip but I, i'm gonna record it and try that out i've never done a video like that before so i'm going to bring all my recording equipment and uh give that a shot but i wanted to show you guys some of the gear i'm going to be bringing on this trip so uh i know everybody loves gear videos so what the hell why not make one right so the first thing i'm bringing is obviously my rucksack like i said we're hiking in about four four and a half miles or so so i have a uh Standard Molly 2 large rucksack. Um, it used to actually be desert tan. I recently just dyed it. I dyed it with, uh, I used the RIT dye, the uh, dark green. I used the, the liquid stuff, not the powder stuff. But I, I dyed the whole bag. Came out pretty good. I mean, I actually like the way it came out. It's, it's, a, it's a little faint. It didn't come out exactly OD green. But, I mean, it's... It's better than the desert tan, considering I don't live in a desert, so, uh... But yeah, I, I did the dye, and then for the frame itself, I used some, uh... rust -Oleum camo paint. It's... they make a camouflage line of paint. It's basically just matte-colored paints in, um... It was... they have, like, OD green, dark brown, black... But yeah, it's, it's, it's basically just matte-colored spray paint. So I did that to the frame there. But, I mean, that's the bag I'm bringing. Uh, here, let me flip it over and show you. I mean, most of you guys are familiar with these. If you're not, it's made up of a couple different bags here. We got the bag on the bottom that's it's made to carry the, uh, the U.S. Army sleep system thing. Um, I can stuff all kinds of stuff in there, though. I can get a, at least my sleeping bag in there and a bunch of other things. But, like I said, I'm going to show you guys all my gear in a bit. Um... So it's got that whole bottom compartment. Up here it's got this top compartment. Uh, when you stuff this thing, man, it, it really, it this thing sticks out like it's huge. Tons of carrying space in there. And then on the side here, I got my uh, sustainment pouch. I usually just put all my food in there. But yeah, that, that that's my rucksack, guys. I'm going to be rucking that in. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to bring too much stuff with me because i it is a four and a half mile hike and i i, I don't want to overexert myself because we got to hike in and then hike back out so uh hopefully all my gear will fit in here i'm going to try and stuff it all in tonight that's why i wanted to make this video show you guys all my gear so uh just hang tight real quick guys and i'll, I'll show you the rest of my stuff all right guys so basically this stuff here is Everything I'm bringing for shelter and like comfort. This is my uh, my dome tent. I, w I was gonna just bring a tarp, and I, I changed my mind. I figured I, I could pack in the tent. It it's really not that heavy. It's uh it's one of those Ozark trails. It's a two person dome tent, uh, seven foot by seven foot. It it's not really. I mean, you could fit two people in it, but it it'll do me just fine, just me and my gear. Um, then I have here my. I have a super lightweight um, sleeping bag here. It's pretty much just a sleeping bag liner, but it'll work because where we're going, it's going to be cool weather, but it's not going to be too cold. It's only going to get down to like 50 degrees at night. So, I mean, that, that should be just fine. I also have my, uh, my camp pillow here. Well, one of my camp pillows. I'm only bringing one. Um, this big blue thing here, this is my camp chair. I'm going to see if I have space to strap that to the bag once everything's packed. If I can pack it in, I'm going to. If not, it's going to stay back. Um, 
like I said, I'm just going to try and tie that to the bag at the end when I'm all done, if I have room. So th this may or may not be coming with me. Then I have my, uh, I just have a fleece blanket here. Again, doesn't weigh anything. Not hard to pack with me. This here, we usually use these when we go camping. We usually use those for the dogs. We bring a couple of these. I'm bringing it though. It's 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 basically just a, like a drop cloth. I got it at uh, Harbor Freight. I think it's like four foot by four foot. I'm just going to use this as a liner for the bottom of my tent. It should add a little bit of cushioning and just keep me off the, the cold the cold floor on the tent. So uh, I'm bringing one of those with me too. And then this here, it's just a El Cheapo yoga mat. I got it from like uh, five below or something. I only paid like five bucks for it. Um, I actually do use it for doing yoga, but I'm bringing that with me too. That's going to be my, uh, my, my, my bed liner, if you will. All right, guys, this is everything that I'm bringing with me for cooking and for water. So I have my canteen here. This is going on my belt. So that, that's going to be with me at all times. That I, I don't really count that as part of my gear because it, it's on my waist at all times. That and one of my knives. Um, but I have this container here. Okay. This holds my Nalgene. I got the wide mouth Nalgene here for collecting water. And in the front pouch, I have my, uh, my Sawyer water filter. Comes with the water bag here too. So this is for collecting water and uh, filtering water if need be. Um, I have my little cup here, my little mug. This is, uh, we, we have a bunch of these left over from our wedding from years ago. Check that out. Awesome, right? But yeah, I, I always like to bring like a plastic cup with me because, I mean, I, I could mix drinks and stuff in a container like that, but I like to use that for just boiling water or making my food. So this is for, for mixing drinks. I bring like hot chocolate and stuff with me as far as food goes. And I, I bring like some crystal lights and stuff and it's, I really don't want to mix that stuff in the same container that I'm cooking my food in. So I, I like to bring a little plastic cup with me. Um, I have my, uh, Boy Scouts of America utensils here. They stack together. You got your spoon, your knife and your fork there. That's a pretty cool set. Um, I usually I usually bring my uh, my Boy Scouts mess kit with me too, but I, I opted to leave that one home this time. Um, I'm bringing this little frying pan. Uh, I picked this up at like Kmart or something. It was only a couple bucks. The only reason I'm bringing that is to fry my spam in the morning. That's the only thing I'm using that for. Everything else is going to get cooked in the cook set over here. Um, but yeah, I have this uh, this cook set. I got it when I used to subscribe to uh, Battle Box. It comes with the stainless steel canteen, so you could boil water in that if you wanted to, but I, I just use that as an extra water container. It's also got the wide mouth, which makes it good for collecting water. And then this is what I do all of my cooking in. If I need to boil water, I'll boil it in there. If I need to cook a meal, like if I'm cooking chili or something, I dump it in there, rehydrate it, and cook it right in there. Uh, it comes with this little handle thing, too, for picking everything up. and it, It's pretty cool. It all nests together and goes right in this bag here but yeah once it's all packed away guys this this isn't much stuff either and like i said the, the canteen there that goes on my belt anyway okay guys i know this isn't too exciting but this is like hygiene and first aid type stuff i'm bringing my first aid kit i've showed you guys this on my channel before there's a whole video on it if you want to go check it out you can see everything that's in it but I'm in charge of first aid on this trip, so uh, I'm going to be bringing my first aid kit here. Um, I'm going to bring a scotch Bright pad, obviously, for cleaning up all your stuff. You Anything you cook in or anything like that, you want to keep it clean. Uh, toilet paper, obviously self-explanatory. It is a wilderness trip. There are, there are primitive bathrooms, but they're a decent hike away. Obviously, it's easier to just poop in the woods. So, toilet paper. Uh, Colgate wisps. These things are great. They're like little toothbrushes and toothpicks. They they actually they have the uh, the toothpaste in the brush. Like it's it's all good to go, all self contained. So I I love bringing those camping with me. And then I have my uh, my dollar store dude wipes, freshen up from time to time. But uh, oh, I almost forgot my magic towels. Love these things. Get them from the dollar store. 
These things are great. They weigh nothing. They're they're packed down to nothing. I mean, this unfolds into a washcloth once you get it wet. I mean, it, it's a normal size washcloth, decent quality. I love these things. But yeah, you get these cool designs on them. You get the Ninja Turtles here. I got Thor, and my wife thought she was funny, so I ended up with this little puppy, too. But, uh, but yeah, great to have these little towels. They come in handy. Hot tip, guys. Always protect your hands. I always have gloves on, no matter what I'm doing. The last thing I want to do is bang up my hands, cut my hands open. You know, it, it, your, your hands are vital when you're out in the woods, so I always have protection for my hands. So I got a pair of light-duty, just general-purpose gloves here. I'll probably have those on all weekend long. And when I'm, like, cooking or doing something real heavy, I'll switch over to these. They're a little more heavy-duty. As you can see, they're a little charred up because they're, they're, they're not fireproof, but they're a little heat-resistant because they got, like, this natural leather material on here. I, I don't know what kind of leather it is, but it's definitely real natural leather. So it does have some heat resistance. So I use these for when I'm cooking and pulling pulling stuff off of the fire and whatnot. Um, and I'm also going to bring one of these uh, one of these little multifunction headbands here. I got a whole bunch of these off of Amazon. I bought like a box of them. I got like 20 or 30 of them. All kinds of different patterns and stuff. Um, they're basically like face masks neck gaiter headband thing you can do a lot of things with them as you can see right there but yeah i usually just wear it as a headband all right as far as cordage goes i got myself 10 feet of like this really thick paracord here uh, i got about 50 feet here is it 50 or 75 i don't remember it's either 50 or 75 feet on here of this paracord it's it's a little bigger than like standard paracord but it, it's not super thick um i got regular paracord here another 50 feet a uh, couple of bungees and here i just got some jew twine all right guys on to the fun stuff we're looking at the tools here so first off i'm bringing my belt knife here this is a ontario knife company uh survival knife i think it's an air force survival knife i've had this thing for 25 years or so and it's been on every single camping trip outdoor adventure i have ever been on and it's still going strong still holds a nice edge i mean as you can see it's seen better days guys but I mean, they, this is by far my favorite knife I've ever owned. I've had it for 25 years. It's the longest, the oldest knife I've ever owned. Don't have any other equipment that's that old. Great knife. I love these things. I highly recommend them. If you're looking for a good camping knife, right there, guys. Now I'm also bringing my, I have a El Cheapo saw here, just a pruning saw. I honestly don't even know where the hell I got it or what I paid for it. It's just a cheap pruning saw. I threw it in with my camping gear a while ago. And I, I usually, I bring a camping with me usually. <clears throat> um, let's see here. I'm also going to be bringing, I have my Swiss Army style knife. It's by, uh, what is that, American Trail. I, have, I also have a folding knife by American Trail. I'm bringing that with me. Because like I said, the more blades you have, the better, guys. I mean, one is none, two is one. You always have extra, always have a backup. So I have multiple blades here. And we're also, we got to process our own wood out here too. Like I said, it's not car camping, so we can't bring any wood in with us. So I want to have multiple different ways to process my firewood. Because we're going to need fire, it's very important. So that's why I'm bringing the saw. I'm also bringing the, uh, the Camelus, the swedge knife. I have a video on that if you guys want to go check it out. Um... We're bringing the, uh, we got our Fisker shovel here. Super lightweight. It's made of like polymer. Doesn't weigh anything. So I figure, what the hell, I might as well bring that too. I mean, you, you got to bury your poop somewhere, right? And then uh, I'm bringing my, I'm going to try out my new uh, Fisker's Camp Axe here. Which also there's a video on. If you go back, it was just a couple videos ago. Just go to my playlist on my homepage. You can find it. 
Okay guys, and here's the last of it. I have my action camera and all of my gear for that. It's, um, I have all my batteries and I have like eight batteries, I think. Uh, a couple of SD cards, everything I'm going to need to film the whole experience. So, going to be bringing that. Um, as far as fire starting material goes, I have my uh, magnesium. I got the magnesium block with the with the fire steel in it. I love these things. They're super cheap. And the magnesium really helps to get the fire going. So, I like to keep those in my kit. And then I have one of these. I made up a whole bunch of these a long time ago. It's, uh, it's just a pill bottle from Walgreens and to keep it waterproof. I have a uh, Bic lighter in there. I have a box of matches and some dryer lint. I made up a whole bunch of these little fire kits for my prepping that I do. Um, I made those up, like I said, a few years back. I went out, I bought a whole pack of lighters. It was like 10 lighters. I had a bunch of matches laying around. I had the dryer lint, so I made up. I keep one in my hunting bag. I keep one in my get home bag. I got a bunch of them in my camping gear, so they're always good to have. Um, let's see, flashlights. I have, I'm going to keep this little one on my person. This is my personal flashlight that I bring. Um, tiny little thing. It's, it's, it's nothing fancy. It's just whenever I go camping, I keep this one in my pocket just in case because you, you never know. You don't want to be stranded without a flashlight. And it's, it's super light. You don't even know you're carrying a thing. So I like, like I said, whenever I go camping, I like to keep that one in my pocket. Um, it, it's not one of the nice Bushnells that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just a cheapo one because if I do happen to lose it while camping, I won't be upset about it. If I lost one of them Bushnells, I'd be pissed. So, and then for a real flashlight, I have this here. This is my old mag light. This gear may be as old as my Ontario Knife Company knife. Uh... I got this thing a long time ago. I couldn't tell you how long ago. It was right around the same time as I got that knife. So those two pieces of kit are my oldest pieces of kit. This is, It's a 2D uh, mag light. So what, it was never super powerful to begin with. Um, but what I did was I changed out the regular light bulb in it. And I put an LED in there. So it is a little bit brighter. And it, it's been my, my camping light for, like I said, almost 20 years or so. It's got to be almost as long as that knife so my trusty mag light i'll never get rid of it i love that thing i know there's better lights out there nowadays but i'm not getting rid of that thing i got spare batteries i got a couple of d's for the uh the mag light if it runs out of power and then my little flashlight is double a's and also my entertainment for the weekend my base camp radio by midland i love this thing um, I've never done a video on all of my radios. I have tons of GMRS equipment and stuff. Um, this is part of that. So this radio here, it's got the hand crank on it. It's also rechargeable. It takes batteries. This thing's great. It's it And it, it basically acts as your base station if you're bringing extra radios and stuff with you. It's really cool. It has AM, FM. It has the weather stations on it. Like I said, it does uh, GMRS. It gets... I couldn't even tell you how many channels. It's tons of channels on there. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool radio, guys. Love this thing. Check it out uh, if you go online. I, I don't know how much they're selling for now. I, I, and honestly, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I, I've had it for a while now. It's never crapped out on me. It's always worked. And I've had it for at least a good eight years or so. And then uh, for entertainment, we're also bringing a pack of bicycle playing cards brand new pack nothing fancy and my flask don't know what i'm gonna fill it with yet uh probably 100 proof soco or something but that should be tons of entertainment around the fire but uh but yeah guys that was a look at all my gear like i said it's it's not too much i'm trying to i'm trying to keep it light because we're hiking in about four and a half miles or so it looks like a lot when it's splayed out on the table here but it's really not between that and the, the pile of stuff I got there on the floor, it's really not a lot of stuff. Should fit in the bag, no problem, guys. All right, guys, there it is. The rucksack is stuffed full. I managed to get every item that I wanted in this ruck. Um, if you take a look here, down at the bottom, I managed to get my tent and most of my sleep gear 
I think I have just a blanket up in the top there, along with everything else that I had to bring. Uh, on the outside, I have my first aid kit. It attached with the Molly attachments. I got my little cup here on the side. Uh, we also have the uh, the Nalgene container here. That's on the side there. I have my little bedroll there on the side here as well. Over on this side, this is my sustainment pouch. This has all of my food for the weekend in here. Uh, I got a couple other small items for food right here in the front for easy access for the hike in. I mean, if I need some snacks or whatever, I left them in there. But the majority of my food is in the side here. And I even managed to get my uh, camp chair strapped down to the top here. So, I mean, honestly, it's pretty heavy. If I had to guess, I'd say it's about 40, 45 pounds or so. So, I mean, it's a bear, but I'm a beast. I can handle it. I, I don't see a problem with it. I threw it on before. I was running around the backyard with it. The dogs were out there chasing me around. It was, it, it, it's not that bad. A, a four, four and a half mile hike I could do. I mean, if I was going all day, I don't know if I could do it. But, you know, a couple hours, only going four miles, I should be fine. But like I said, all of my gear in the bag, with the exception of this stuff right here. And like I said earlier in the video, this stuff's going on my belt. This is my belt knife. I always have the canteen on my belt. The rest of this stuff's going to go in my pockets, my cargo pockets, until I need it. So, I mean, there you go, guys. That's everything. We got it all packed up. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, I guess we'll see you after the trip. So thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.